What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're doing a first shots. We haven't done one for a while, my ears feeling a little bit better, and I wanted to shoot something fun. So today we're gonna be trying out the Dan Wesson Specialist. That was just terrible. I don't know why anybody would get a 1911. This is actually a gun that I have previously owned, but I owned before the channel, so I didn't get to do a video on. And I found one recently that was a really, really good deal. I think pretty highly of Dan Wesson firearms, and I love 1911, so I figured it would be a perfect fit. So the Dan Wesson Specialist is a sort of classic 1911, but with some modern features. It doesn't have a dot, but it does have Trigicon sights. It does have a flat top with uh, serrations on there for glare. We do not have any front slide serrations, but the gun is silky smooth, which is nice. We have bushing barrel, and then we do have a rail on the bottom, which I really like, because I don't have any classic 1911s with no dot that have a rail, and I think that look actually looks really cool. It looks really mean. Uh, it does come with G10 grips, great checkering, 25 lines per inch, memory pad, combat hammer, and the magazine well which are all features that I greatly desire on a 1911. On top of that, we do have an ambi safety, which is nice in case you are wrong-handed. Very cool, and I actually like to use that for offhand shooting as a ledge, so I'm a big fan. Now, it's a good looking gun, and a hefty gun, about 44 ounces full steel frame, so it should handle the recoil relatively well. Now, one of the reasons I got the Dan Wesson is because Dan Wesson's a good way to go to get into a gun that's like right before a custom 1911. So if you're looking for a really high quality 1911, but you don't wanna go the Wilson Combat or Nighthawk super high end route, this can get you almost all the way there for about half price. This one cost me 1400, which seems like a lot, but it came with 14 magazines which is really nice because 1911s are half a stack of a 2011, so I'm gonna be reloading a little bit more. Uh, this came with 14 nine round mags, and then we are gonna be using my 10 round Wilson Combat magazines, and we'll see how those run. Before we do that, I wanna thank Sonoran Desert Institute. They are the sponsor of this video, and we really appreciate them. The SDI has been a continuing supporter of the channel for the past few years, and they're a sponsor I really believe in. They're an online university that specializes in firearms, firearms technology, gunsmithing, and you can get all kinds of different degrees from them. And I think it's a great way to find a career that you're really passionate about. Being an entrepreneur is one of the most fulfilling things you can do in life, working for yourself, starting your own business, and this is a great way to get started. All right, so we're gonna try our Dan Weston Specialist at 75 yards here to try some accuracy out. Uh, now, if you're unfamiliar with 1911s, it's a single action only pistol, it's relatively hefty, and you get a short stack of magazine, but you do get really serious accuracy, uh, especially with these Dan Wessons, you know, they're you know, two to four inches at 50 yards, great trigger, very cool. The other advantage is every time you shoot a 1911, a bald eagle is born. <laughs> That was just terrible. I don't know why anybody would get a 1911. <laughs> Terribly inaccurate, isn't it? What a horrible gun. Other advantage to the 1911 are that the recoil impulse is really, really good. So obviously you can see the gun doesn't jump much because it is a hefty gun, it is a nine millimeter. And it's like a really fun way to fight communism. We didn't have lockback on that one. Ride my thumb on it. Oh, the, no, it's the Wilson mag, I think. Doesn't like, oh no, that's a Dan Wesson mag. Now I will say, starting off, it's a little sticky. Uh, the slide's a little little more sluggish than they normally are, and uh, the trigger's a little stickier than something like a Wilson or a Nighthawk, for sure. But so far, we've still had great performance, and it still looks super mean. So uh, let's see how fast it can go. Help! 
So far, I would have to say I'm a bigger fan of the Wilson mags. I like the Dan Wesson mags, and as you know, I'm a CZ guy, but nine rounds as opposed to 10, and on top of that, we have had one failure to feed, not while we were shooting, but I loaded the magazine, hit the slide release, and it got stuck. So that's only happened on the Dan Wesson mags, and it's kind of funny that they're made for the gun. But uh, let's try it at 100 here, see how we do. I haven't shot at 100 in a long time with a handgun. Don't rush. Don't rush. What's that in your pocket? Six 1911 mags? <laughs> I'm trying a new grip. As you guys may not know, I hurt my neck and I'm trying to re-train uh, myself. Shoot with my shoulders down and it's affecting my shooting a great deal. Not too much. Okay, hottie toddy. All right. Problem is I keep putting all the empties in the same pocket as the full ones. I hate when that, that happens. Not, see, this is what I mean right here. This is what it's doing. It's not failing while I'm shooting the gun, but it seems to want to fail every time it gets slung forward. And I wonder if it's just got something to do with the chamber, maybe this chamber sticky, and I can't tap it forward either. Hmm. Maybe the Sonoran Desert Institute at graduate. Yeah, if you go no. to the Sonoran Desert Institute, you can fix my Dan Wesson. <laughs> but in all fairness, Dan Wesson should have fixed my Dan Wesson. But then worked great. So weird. All right, so that was interesting, and that is why we test things. So my first Dan Weston specialist, I managed to get well, like a thousand at least rounds through. This was again before I tested guns on the channel, and I had no problems with it. This one, problems. And interestingly enough, we were using a combination of magazines that came with the gun and magazines that didn't come with the gun. So we got our Dan Weston mag, which for some reason it does not like. And we loaded it into the gun, and we get no lockback for some reason. And on top of that, they barely pull out of the gun. And then some other mags. Let's find this Wilson here. No problem. And the magazines that came with the gun are the ones that failed. So much so I actually got mad off camera and threw one behind the berm. <laughs> Magazines are sadly perishable, and occasionally you have to change the springs, you have to clean them, or you just have to get rid of them and get new ones. It is what it is. This is my favorite platform, and I'm having a good time no matter what 1911 I'm shooting. But this one was super fast, it was super accurate, which I really appreciate. It's got all the features I really like, and I just hope that it wears in a little bit. We plan on doing a thousand round review of this. I doubt that people are gonna be clamoring for it, but I love shooting 1911s. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, because I enjoyed filming it. <laughs> America. There will be a full thousand round review of this sometime this year. Who knows when, but hopefully soon. If you want to see me compare anything to this, I think a good comparison would be the Wilson, but we're actually going to do a lot of 1911s here over the next three or four months. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. I need to get my shooting skills back on par. I do feel a little bit rusty. I feel a little bit slower than I normally am. We're going to be working a lot on practice for the next few months, and hopefully we'll have a good old-fashioned 1911 summer. Don't worry, I'm gonna throw some 2011s and certainly some CZs in there too, but it is gonna be, it's gonna be a fast year. Let's go with that. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support our Oklahoma shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. You are... 
sexy and you are on. Well. You always know when I'm filming you, don't you? Dangy. Danger. Danger Zeppelin. Sit. You sit. Who is such a good boy?